Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to do a full software review of the latest OnePlus 3. So, if you go to the settings menu about phone, you can find I'm running on Oxygen OS 3.1.2, which is based on Android 6.0.1. So, I've just got a software update to 3.0.2. So let's go and check out what is there in the OnePlus 3 Oxygen Noise. So first of all, this is the home screen. And if you swipe left, you can see the shelf, which is the customized version of OnePlus One interface, One OnePlus inter interface. So this shelf is actually upgraded with some more features, like you can add frequent contacts here, as well as you can add widgets. click here and then click on widgets and you can all add all these widgets like Google now and uh, digital clock whatever widgets are available it can be added to the screen so you can see if you click on that one it will come here so that's the shelf and if, you, if I scroll down the notification bar will come out if I scroll up the Google now will launch so it's pretty fast and responsive and here's the Google now search button also and this is the normal stock applications running on this phone and if you swipe down you can see the notification area where you can see the uh, swim details I didn't put any swim that's why you can see it there and then uh, time date the battery if you click on the battery option you can see the battery saver as well as the battery optimization which is the dose the technology is called DOS so to effectively use the battery application so if you click on the settings you can see the settings and then here is the change user option and then you can see all the regular toggles here if I want to edit the toggles I can click on edit here and then I can move the toggles wherever I want So these are the stock options and the toggles contain uh, regular Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, night mode is there if you click on night mode. So the screen brightness will be decreased for a better view in the night. And then uh, airplane mode, auto rotate, flash, location, cast, hotspot, invert colors. So if you click on invert colors, the color will be inverted. So it's a new feature. So these are the regular options in the notification area. If you click on the settings menu, you can see in Wi-Fi settings all the Wi-Fi information, Bluetooth, SIM card. There are two SIM card I can put, and I can select the cellular data and the calls, SMS messages for the each SIM. And then in cellular network, I can play with the mobile data turn on and then data roaming, other details. I'll show you all these details later and then data usage you can see the usage of data and then I can also do the network restrictions here and then in more I can see airplane mode and then NFC is still back on to OnePlus they omitted this feature in OnePlus 2 but OnePlus 3 it's, it is back so you can play with the NFC sensor is at the back of the back camera and then Android beam tethering and portable op hotspot option VPN emergency broadcast so these are the regular options in wireless and networks and then in device you can see display you can uh, change the brightness level adaptive uh, brightness is there night mode press power button to twice to uh, turn up the camera so I'm, if I'm the lock screen double turn in, double click on the uh, power button will turn on the camera which is a good thing and it's very responsive and then daydream is there ambient display so the, those are the settings from display and then sound notification there's nothing new to discuss here alert slider so this is the slider button on the left side so i can customize the alert slider option there let me turn on the auto right for now. Okay. So I can set the priority settings here from there. 
and then tap and play so it's come as it came with the NFC so I can play with the tap, uh, tap and play you can use the Android Pay options storage USB so you can see the storage USB options here I can um, view how many spaces are consumed and if I want to enable OTG I can click on enable OTG from here and disable it if you want apps users memory battery I already discussed the battery options and now the customization if you want to use the dark mode you click on the dark mode so the entire theme will be changed to dark I prefer using the dark mode so let me keep it there and other LED notification I can customize the notif LED colors notification and I can also customize the status bar I can uh, turn on and off any of these status bar turbo options from here and then uh, buttons so these are the customization button if you want the on-screen navigation bar I can click on this one and it will come so I but I prefer using the capacitive touch screen and then I can swap the button right now this is the back button if I want to swap click on this one so back button will be here and then the reasons button will be here I prefer using like this one so this is the backlight for the capacity touch screen if you want I can turn it on off or if I turn it off and off and then I can customize each and every uh, capacity touch screen like home button long press action so if I click on the long button for the more time this search assistant will come and then if I want to double tap option I can do that so I can customize the actions of all these all these three capacity buttons like home button reasons button and back button next one is the gestures this is these are the off-screen gestures if I want to add I can turn it on I only turn it on the double tap wake up so if I double tap the display it will turn it on if I want I can turn it on I'll leave it there so uh, next one is the location there's nothing to talk about that and then security and fingerprint so here I can uh, use the fingerprint I already added my right thumb so if I want to add the left thumb I can add it from here I need to do this until it's finished okay that's done so I added my a left thumb also so it's the fingerprint response is very really good if I tap here it opened instantaneously so it's really nice other options are here if I want to install any application outside the place I can click on this one turn it on language and input accounts Google backup and restore eight and time accessibility printing system updates all these options are like regular options there's nothing to do and it remain remaining I can see a search bar here if I want to search something I can put it here and then search on the settings so it's good so let's go and check out the stock application comes with this phone first one is the dialer it's normal one plus dialer messaging application chrome and then the camera if you turn on the camera you can see photo time lapse option slow motion photo video manual panorama so for photo you can see settings like uh, flash HD turn on or off like this and then HDR also I can turn it on off and in the settings menu I can change the aspect ratio here I prefer using 16 bar 9 then I, this is the timer and this is the grid if I want to use and it, this is the front facing camera so these are the software side and then if you change to video you can see 18 1080p 720p and then 4k videos 
option and then if I want I can play with the manual also so I want shutter speed ISO everything I can be configured from here and then panorama option so these are the options you will get in the camera application besides that this phone comes with all the all these uh, Google applications as a stock application remain in that is the gallery there's no photo or video of took and then music application photos Google photo application and the play music that's it so these are the application comes with the this phone as a stock and I can here I can see a search bar so overall it's a pretty neat and uh, stock almost a stock ROM and if you click on the reasons bar you can find the settings menu using manage application or I can clear all these so this is it this is the software side of the new oneplus 3 I will be making more videos about the oneplus 3 and its features so please become subscribed Thank you.